Hai Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So for this video kita akan tengok subtopik 8.5 part identification test untuk hydroxy compound At the end of this lesson you should be able to explain the identification test to distinguish the classes of alcohol by using Lucas test And next explain the iodoform test to identify methyl carbinol. Okay, so chemical test for alcohol you have Lucas test and iodoform test. Okay, so untuk Lucas test we use it to distinguish the different classes of alcohol. So kalau lah nak bezakan primary dengan secondary ataupun tertiary alcohol kita boleh guna this Lucas test. Okay, kalau nak bezakan contoh let's say you have both adalah secondary alcohol let's say you want to differentiate ada dua alcohol dekat sini both adalah secondary alcohol but then we can distinguish these two by using iodoform test so that we know one of it ada methyl carbinol group okay so kita akan tengok in detail after this right okay so lucas test is used to differentiate primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol by observing the rate of reaction. So, kita akan tengok rate of the alcohol reacting with Lucas reagent to form alkyl chloride. Okay, sebab apa alkyl chloride? Because we are using reagent dia adalah concentrated HCl dan followed by zinc chloride. Okay, so ini mesti tulis untuk Lucas reagent. Mesti ada HCl and with zinc chloride. So, if you have alcohol react with the Lucas reagent, you will get alkyl chloride and side product water. Okay, so you can see here the reaction mixture between antara alcohol dengan Lucas reagent akan form alkyl chloride. So alkyl chloride is insoluble in water. That is why you can see ada layer part dekat sini. Okay. Between alkyl chloride and water lah. Okay. Untuk Lucas test ni kita nak fokus on the time taken untuk cloudy solution to appear. Okay, itu kita akan guna to measure the alcohol reactivity so kita tengok dulu alcohol reactivity towards this Lucas test so the least reactive is primary and the most reactive one is tertiary alcohol ok so ok as I mentioned before ini melibatkan reactivity of the alcohol with the Lucas reagent so you can see primary alcohol is the least reactive and tertiary alcohol is the most reactive ok so for primary alcohol bila kita react dengan Lucas reagent it does not turn cloudy solution after 10 minutes ok remember that we want to focus on the rate ataupun time taken for the cloudy solution to appear ok so for primary alcohol after 10 minutes masih lagi tak ada cloudy solution ok so that we know oh kalau time taken lama it will be it must be primary alcohol lah because that one is the least reactive ok so untuk secondary alcohol pula Cloudy solution will form after 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so dia akan ambil masa but not that long. So, means it is secondary alcohol. So, for tertiary alcohol, kalau kita react dengan Lucas reagent just now, kita akan terus dapat product and immediately kamu akan dapat alkyl chloride with water immediately kamu akan nampak the cloudy solution ok, so you can see here perbezaan dia kita akan tengok dari segi rate 
tertiary cloudy solution akan form immediately secondary cloudy solution will form 5 to 10 minutes and for primary for primary it does not turns cloudy even after 10 minutes now let's have a look at few example okay so once kamu dapat structure of alcohol classkan dulu first classifykan the alcohol So once kamu dah classify the alcohol, then only you can write the observation. Okay. So untuk primary alcohol, as we discussed before, no cloudy solution will form after 10 minutes. Okay. Boleh terus tulis ini straight away. Okay. So next example, OH attached to secondary carbon. So this is secondary alcohol. So, bila secondary alcohol react dengan Lucas reagent, you will form this alkyl chloride, chloropentane ini. And cloudy solution will form after 5 minutes. Okay, ataupun you can write after 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so untuk the next example, KOH okay, attached to this carbon adalah tertiary carbon that means ini adalah tertiary alcohol so bila tertiary alcohol react dengan Lucas reagent it will turn cloudy immediately maksudnya you will form this alkyl chloride immediately ok next kita tengok iodoform test so, iodoform test, function dia adalah is to detect ataupun to identify the presence of methyl carbinol group. Okay, so first kita tengok apa tu perkataan carbinol group. Carbinol, sorry, carbinol carbon. Okay, so carbinol carbon adalah carbon that bears yang bonded to OH. So, OH that directly bond to carbon Carbon ini yang kita panggil sebagai carbinol carbon. This iodoform test, it is to detect the presence of methyl carbinol. So for methyl carbinol maksudnya, that specific carbon, we are talking about this carbon, carbinol carbon, ada CH3 which is methyl. Okay, so kalau ada this structure, in the alcohol so dia akan bagi positive result to iodoform test ok dengan syarat dia ada syarat dia must have at least one hydrogen atom present at the methyl carbinol carbon so methyl carbinol tadi this one ok mesti methyl carbinol and at this carbon you have at least one hydrogen atom barulah dia boleh proceed with the reaction and you will form yellow precipitate ok so yellow precipitate ni apa triiodomethane CHI3 ok so nanti kita akan tengok the reaction and the reagent here will be iodine in sodium hydroxide ok so iodoform test Okay, dia melibatkan methyl carbinol group cleavage. So, maksudnya dia akan potong dekat this carbon-carbon bond. Okay. And then, you will get, kalau kamu nampak, ini, this part is this part of your carboxylate ion. Okay. So, COH, okay, dia akan ada dia punya reaction and then dia akan jadi C double bond O. Okay, and this part yang lain-lain tu dia akan jadi your side product ataupun yang form this yellow precipitate which is triiodomethane. Okay, so again iodoform test untuk hydroxy compound dia adalah untuk detect the presence of methyl carbinol. Okay, tapi dengan syarat mesti ada at least one hydrogen atom attached to the carbon. So, in this case, there's hydrogen atom attached to the methyl carbinol group. 
So, bolehlah proceed dengan reaction iodo form to form this triiodo methane. Okay, so the product will be carboxylate ion ataupun in this form lah. Okay, so uh, kita kena tulis the charges here. Negative charge for oxygen and positive charge is for sodium. Okay, so later kita akan tengok from this carboxylate ion dia boleh further react undergo hydrolysis and you will get C double bond O OH at this part ok Na akan leave lah Na is a stable positive ion so dia akan leave and you will get this carboxylate ion C double bond O O minus ion and then undergo hydrolysis to form carboxylic acid ok so you can see here dekat sini tadi kita ada satu carbon tapi bila kita buat iodoform reaction for this reaction bila kita react dengan iodine and sodium hydroxide you can see this part ok carbon ini tadi berkurang ok so iodoform is also a reaction to reduce number of carbon. Ok, selain reduction reaction lah yang kita akan tengok in chapter akan datang. Ok, so aeroform test ni akan jumpa lagi dalam chapter akan datang. So, make sure you faham betul-betul and untuk this hydroxy compound adalah untuk detect methyl carbonyl group. Ok, carbonyl means OH attached to carbon. Alright, so now kita tengok secondary alcohol pula. So, secondary alcohol sama juga. Kita tengok carbon, this carbon ada OH. So, this is your carbonyl carbon. And then, at this carbonyl carbon ada methyl. So, this is your methyl carbonyl group. So, kita akan potong dekat sini. You will remove the CH3 and then gantikan dengan ONA ok, so you will get your carboxylate ion and your triiodomethane this one will give the yellow precipitate, jangan lupa tulis arrow ke bawah, maksudnya this one is the precipitate ok, so next if you have tertiary alcohol So, boleh tak proceed with this iodoform test? React dengan iodine and nao. Oh. So, for this tertiary alcohol, you can't react. Tak boleh further with this reaction dengan iodine dengan nao. Oh. Why? Because there's no hydrogen atom at the methyl carbonyl carbon. So, methyl carbonyl carbon, this one. There's no hydrogen directly attached to it. Ini alkyl group, ini pun alkyl group. So that is why there's no further reaction and untuk bila kamu tulis dia punya observation ataupun tulis dia punya product no observable changes ataupun no observable reaction. Okey, jangan tulis no reaction, salah. Okay, so carbon with OH group is already bonded to 3 carbon atom. That is why it is unable to form CO bond. Okay, so remember hanya boleh bagi positive result untuk primary dan secondary tertiary alcohol tak boleh. It, it won't give you any observation lah. No observable changes. Okay, so now let's have a look at this example yang Miss tunjuk at the earlier part of this video. Okay, so if you expand this structure, okay, kamu akan dapat this is the structure. Okay, not fully expanded tapi Miss just tunjuk expand at this part of your structure. Okay, yang melibatkan carbon, carbonyl carbon sahaja. Okay, so bila kita react dengan iodine and sodium hydroxide, you can see that okay, kalau this to botanol, you will give positive result. Maksudnya, you akan dapat yellow precipitate. 
Why? Because remember iodoform test is to detect the presence of methyl carbonyl group. Okay, so sebab tu dia akan bagi positive result and form yellow precipitate. You will form this carboxylate ion. Okay, so for this 3-pentanol, kenapa tak akan bagi any observable changes? Why? Dia tak boleh proceed? Because there's no methyl carbonyl group. Okay, carbonyl carbon is this one. And at this carbon, you don't have, there's no methyl. Okay, so dia tak akan bagi positive result with iodoform test. So, iodoform test, as I mentioned before, you can use it to differentiate. Kalau contoh, you have both adalah secondary alcohol. Okay? Tapi, you nak differentiate satu, ada methyl carbonyl group and another one is, dia tak ada methyl carbonyl group. So, you can use this iodoform test. Okay, so this is the example. Okay, bila kita react. So, C... Dia akan buat bond cleavage dekat this part. Between carbon and the methyl. So, you ganti dengan this. Ona. And kalau ada methyl carbonyl, dia akan form these two product lah. And this is your yellow precipitate. Okay, so ini adalah your methyl carbonyl group. And untuk this one. Dia akan, so sini carbon dengan methyl. So, dia akan potong dekat this part. And you will get your carboxylate ion and triiodomethane. And the next example, ini adalah primary alcohol. Okay, so for this alcohol, you don't have, okay, ini adalah the carbonyl carbon. Carbon, OH, H, H. H. So, at this carbon, is there any methyl? No methyl. So, dia tak akan bagi positive result dengan iodoform test. Alright. So, for iodoform test, bila kita dah form carboxylate ion just now, if you further... <coughs> okay. So, untuk iodoform test, you will form carboxylate ion. And bila carboxylate ion itu undergo hydrolysis with H3O plus ion, you will get this part akan jadi carboxylic acid. Okay. So, daripada alcohol, boleh juga undergo this iodoform reaction. Okay. To form this carboxylate ion. And bila dah form carboxylate ion, undergo hydrolysis pula to form carboxylic acid. Okay, this is also one of the way to form carboxylic acid. 